Hello everybody. Well, today I am going to be working on my Escalade. It's 2008 and my cigarette lighter stopped working. So I'm guessing, well, I'm guessing right now a fuse is blown. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to quickly replace that and um, get it going. So I'm going to show you now a little bit. There's a couple different cigarette lighters in the car. Uh, there's one there. There's one in there, which is what I'm using right now. Um, but if I go and try to use that there, there is no lights popping up. You know, the cigarette lighter, the uh, phone adapter is not lighting up. Now if I plug it back in here, you'll see that it lights up. So these are on different fuses. You see that, you can see the light coming on. So that one's still working. I've been using that one since this happened. And it's just a 20 amp, a fuse so in here there are some fuses for I think for that auxiliary where I'm plugged in right now and there's also one in the rear of the car um, there's also a cigarette lighter that's in the back of a car in the car also and that is uh, is right here so if you need I think for those two it's gonna be in the panel that I'm gonna show you right now the panel is here. You can just grab from the bottom and this comes out. And in there, there's, there's some fuse boxes. You can't really see them right now, but they're definitely in there. Um, so the thing is with that, with those fuses, you don't need that, you know, you don't need to get to those fuses in there for that lighter. Uh, so that one's actually in the engine bay but for whatever reason if you need to figure out what's what you can definitely do that by using this map um, and that'll tell you you know rear seat as you can see number one and the other thing the reason I open this is because I need this little tool which is it'll help you remove that fuse now I haven't bought a new fuse so I know from you know just from looking things up that this is a 20 amp fuse and you can see these fuses the electricity kind of just flows through there so usually when they blow that that little piece in the middle that little looks like a u like upside down u um that is usually cracked or you know blown that's what happens when a fuse now i plugged in a um a tire inflator into this and after that it just you know i guess it was too much or something happened and it blew, blew the fuse so i'm going to use this uh this 20 amp uh, 20 amp fuse right now and then eventually I'll replace it so I have a backup because um, I'm removing that. These are mini fuses. There's larger ones. Uh, there's something else that I changed a while ago. See, this is what a, what the large ones look like. But you see that's, you can see that that's broken right in the middle. That little U is just, you know, done. This is a large 15 amp. But these are mini fuses. They're a little smaller. And now this little, this tool will help you take the old one out and put it back in. So we're gonna go with that now. So I've already set up a lamp here to be able to take a look. And that's your fuse box there. Now, to unlock it, you have to pull out of this. Actually, that was pretty simple. So you pull out and pull up, and this thing should all just come out. Now there's your fuses. Now how do you figure out what's what? <laughs> That's on the back of this box. So this is your cover. You flip it around and it'll show you uh, where everything's at. So let's take a look. Uh, I need to look for something that says lighter. So if you look at 53 on here it says LTR and it'll say 20 amp so if you look at the chart you look for that 53 and that's uh, you can see where it's at and you can go on here and see where that corresponds to now if you look at let's see if you can take a look at that 53 is there I guess next to that large um, well, you can just, you know, see how it corresponds. 
And to me, that's that yellow one. I know it's a 20 amp. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little tool to remove. And this thing just opens and closes. But all you do is just press down on it and that'll clamp on it on its own. From there, you just wiggle it out and there you have your fuse. Now we're gonna take a look at it. Let me take it out of there and it should be blown. And if you look at it, uh, yep, you see how it's cracked in the middle? It's definitely blown. So that electricity is not flowing through there and the fuse did what it's supposed to do. You know, when it's when something overloads, instead of harming your system, it'll just blow the fuse and the electricity will stop flowing and you know, that item will stop working. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just, you gotta make sure you remember, you know, I took it out, took it out of here. So we're gonna make sure that we put it back into that same spot. Now with this, you can just place it into here to help you Trying to do this with one hand. So that'll help, it'll make it easier putting it back in. So we're gonna take it, I don't think it matters which way the numbers go, but I'm gonna try to keep them the same way. It doesn't matter, they're all backwards. You can see this 30 is different. Now this is gonna go, just make sure that you put it back in the place that it was. That it was. So we put that in there, we pressed it in, now we, we, we push, push down on it like that in order to release. You can press it in with your finger if you want. And that should solve our issue. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna test that out. So I'm gonna unplug that from there. And there you have it. The light's on now and that's working again. So that's just something quickly, you know, if you're whatever, for whatever reason, you know, you need to charge your phone and it's not working. And um, like I said, the other auxiliaries should be behind this panel here. Um, but that's something that, um, you know, if you have that particular cigarette lighter, like I said, this is a 2008. So from 2007, to 2000 and I believe 14 is when this model ran. And this is for the Tahoe, for the Suburban, uh, for all the, the, the same, you know, GM vehicles. Uh, it's the same deal. So I'm gonna go back and put everything back. Um, let's do that. I'm gonna put that little tool back in here so I don't lose it. And just make sure you keep this here so that, um, you know, it's a really handy tool. Just makes, you don't need it, but it makes it a lot easier. Uh, so we're doing that. And this just goes, you can put it in from the top, press it down, and everything goes back into place. And then for that other one, same deal. It latches on, there's four little holes where you have to have these plastic tabs to go into. So we're gonna slide that back. This one can be a little tricky sometimes. to remove and put back. Yep, and that's on. You pull up on it, make sure it doesn't pop out, and we're good to go. So that's replacing the fuse to get your cigarette lighter working again in a uh, 2008 Escalade. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share and uh, subscribe as you know, YouTube has recently changed their policy. So I used to get a couple dollars for gas and all these videos. Um, and I still enjoy making them, you know, but just subscribe, 
So it'll help me out, you know, to keep making these videos for you guys. Take care.